In the last presentation, we completed binary subtraction using one's complement. There is one drawback in one's complement method. Whenever the final carry is equal to one, we have to add it back to the obtained result. But in case of binary subtraction using two's complement, we don't have to add the final carry back to the result because there is no end around carry in two's complement. So if we compare the two methods, two's complement method is much better. Now we will move to three steps involved in this method and let's say we want to subtract b from a. So we will write a minus b. This is direct subtraction or I can write a plus of plus of minus b. This minus b is nothing but 2's complement of b. This is 2's complement of b because we know that 2's complement of a number is negative of that number. For example, plus 5 is equal to 0, 1, 0, 1 and uh, in order to find out minus 5, first of all you have to find out the 1's complement of plus 5. 1's complement, 1's complement of 5 is equal to 1, 0, 1, 0 and in order to calculate the 2's complement of 5 we have to add 1 in this. So finally answer is 1, 0, 1, 1. This is minus 5 and it is 2's complement of 5. This is very simple and we have already covered this concept. Now we will move to step number 1. In step number 1 we have to find the 2's complement of the number to be subtracted. The number to be subtracted is b. So find 2's complement of b. In step number 2 perform the addition. Perform a plus 2's complement of b whatever be the result of 2's complement of b added to a. This is what we have to do in step number 2. And in step number 3 and the most important step we will focus on final carry. If the final carry is equal to 1 the result is positive and in its true form. And when final carry when final carry is equal to 0 the result is negative and in, and in its 2's complement form. So these are the two things that we have to focus. When final carry is 1, the result is positive and in its true form. And when final carry is 0, the result is negative and in its 2's complement form. Now if you remember the last presentation, when final carry was 1, we added it back to the obtained result. But in this case, we don't have to add it back, but we will simply neglect the final carry. So this is very important point. In 2's complement method, the final carry is always neglected. Let me write this down. We neglect the final carry in 2's complement method. Now we will move to one example. Above steps will be more clear when we solve this example. We have to perform the subtraction in which we have to subtract 0, 1, 0, 0 this is in binary from 1, 0, 0, 1 so we have to perform this subtraction and you can clearly see A is equal to 1, 0, 0, 1 this is A and B is equal to 0, 1, 0, 0 and from step number 1 you can see we have to calculate 2's complement of the number to be subtracted and the number to be subtracted is b 0 1 0 0 so we will find 2's complement of b and it is very simple to find 2's complement of b first we have to find 1's complement of b and then we will add 1 to it so 1's complement of b is 1 0 1 1 and then I will add 1 so finally we are going to have 1 plus 1 0 with carry equal to 1 1 plus 1 is 0 again with carry equal to 1 1 plus 0 is 1 and finally we have 1 1 0 0 so this is minus of B now we will move to step number 2 and in step number 2 we have to perform the addition very simple A is 1 0 0 1 
and minus b is 1 1 0 0 a very simple sum 1 plus 0 is 1 0 plus 0 is 0 0 plus 1 is 1 1 plus 1 is 0 with final carry equal to 1 so the final carry this is the final carry and it is equal to 1 and from step number 3 you can see when final carry is generated it means when final carry is 1 the result is positive and in its true form so we have to neglect this final carry we will neglect this final carry and uh, we will have we will have 0 1 0 1 so this is positive and in its true form so simply this is our answer and you can definitely cross check this 1 0 0 1 is plus of 9 in decimal this is in decimal 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 is 4 this is positive of 4 so 1 1 0 0 is negative of 4 and uh, when you perform the addition of plus 9 and minus 4 the result is going to be plus of 5 and you can cross check this 0 1 0 1 is nothing but plus of 5 so our answer is correct now why we have to neglect the final carry this is one question and uh, let's try to find out answer for this you already know the range of 2's complement is from minus of 2 raised to power n minus 1 to plus of 2 raised to power n minus 1 minus 1 this is the range of 2's complement and uh, for 4 variables it is minus 8 2 plus of 7 so this is the range of 2's complement and if we do not neglect the final carry then let's see what we have we have 1 0 1 0 1 and uh, decimal equivalent of this binary number is 21 I guess uh, let me cross check this this is 1 4 and 16 16 plus 4 is 20 and 20 plus 1 is 21 so 21 is the number obtained but uh, it is not in this range so we have to neglect this final carry and we call this we call this overflow we call this overflow because you are subtracting two four bit numbers this is four bit number this is also a four bit number but the result is five bit which is not possible now I will give you one small trick and this trick will help you to determine the overflow and we will call this condition condition for overflow x and y are the sign bits these are the sign bits of two numbers two numbers a and b z is the sign bit sign bit of result and uh, the condition is x complement and y complement and z or x and y and z complement is equal to 0 or it is equal to 1 you have this expression and you have to put the values of x y and z in this and if the result is equal to 0 if the result is equal to 0 then there is no overflow and when result is equal to 1 there is overflow this is very important trick and uh, this will help you in your exam when the numbers are having more than 4 bits you only have to focus on the sign bits now we will move to example number 2 in example number 2 we have to perform the subtraction 0 1 1 0 minus 1 0 1 1 a is equal to a is equal to 0 1 1 0 and B is equal to 1 0 1 1 minus B 
is equal to 0 1 0 0 plus 1 this is one complement of B and uh, to obtain two's complement I will add 1 so finally we are going to have 0 1 0 1 this is minus of B now we will perform the addition and uh, I will add 0 1 0 1 to 0 1 1 0 very simple and uh, the result is going to be 1 1 0 1 and you can clearly see there is no final carry generated and hence this is the result and we can say that the result is negative and in two's complement form because final carry is equal to 0 and to know our answer I will again take the two's complement of this result so first we will find one's complement one's complement of 1011 this is one's complement and now I will add 1 to it 0101 is the two's complement two's complement of this result and 0101 is nothing but plus of 5 so this number here is minus of 5 so minus of 5 is our answer very simple you can definitely cross check this 0110 0 is plus of 6 1011 is 11 so the number here the number here after taking two's complement of 1011 is minus of 11 and when you add plus of 6 with minus of 11 the result is going to be minus of 5 so our answer is correct this is all for this presentation now we will move to homework problems in first homework problem you have to perform the subtraction 0 1 1 0 minus 0 1 0 0 in second homework problem perform the subtraction 0 1 1 1 minus 1 1 1 0 and in third homework problem 1 0 1 1 0 minus 1 1 1 1 and remember one thing you have to perform the subtraction by using two's complement method use two's complement method you can also use one's complement method but for your practice use two's complement method for these problems once you have your answer post it in comment section this is all for this presentation see you in the next one